What's up everyone? On this one, we'll see how to deploy a uh, VPN side to side between Checkpoint and FortiGate. So let's get right into it. And I'm going to open the terminal for FortiGate. Um, so I believe, okay. So right now it has uh, default credentials. Okay. And I have to change it first. Okay, and I want to make it this easier because there are more steps to take on FortiGate, so I'm going to do them using uh, GUI. Uh, so first we have to change the IP address. So config system interface. So we want to edit port one, and we want to set the mod to static set ip 192.1.254 and let's see if i have everything required okay static okay looks okay and what you did port 2 um set ip 192.168.254 and uh, set allow access to HTTP, uh, ping, and SSH. And next. Okay, so let's try to manage this using uh, the GUI interface. So. Should be able to log on to 192 to 254. Okay. And type the credentials and save. Okay, that's awesome. We're going to change this later. Uh, don't show this again. Okay, so the interface part is done. So network state routes where we need a default route first toward our r4 so that's going to be one two one two one and the interface is going to be port one okay let's look okay and the next one will be uh OC and objects. So first let's just test whether this PC is able to reach R4. And we're going to create a new policy. We're going to name it uh plan to internet. So this should be incoming from port two to port one source and I'm going to create a new object and that's going to be 192.168.20 underscore 24 and subnet will be 192.168.20 and this is going to be slash 24 okay and we're going to add this object as the source and destination is going to be O. Now schedule always for service. So let's just select uh, HTTP and telnet. Okay. And we want to use net. And that should uh, okay. That should be enough. Okay. So if I try to tell net to one nine two one six one nine two one two one. Okay. So this means um this PC is able to reach R four. Awesome. I can close this. So now let's begin the VPN configuration. So 
first part uh, is going to be IPsec tunnels. Create a new one, IPsec tunnel. And we're going to name it uh, site to site, site B to site A. And that's going to be custom one, site to site B, site A. Okay, so remote gateway IP, that's going to be uh, gateway A, external IP address. It's going to be 254. And it's reachable via port 1. Uh, not traversal, we want to disable that. Uh, dead view detection, we can leave on demand. Uh, Pre shared key, so. IP CCIE. So IX is going to be version 1, main mode. Uh, for phase 1, um, 40 gate. So 40 gate only allows to use uh, DES and SHA-256, SHA, different flavors for SHA. So we're going to select DES and SHA-256 and going to delete all the other options. And we want to use uh, DFM and Group 2. So kill lifetime 86400, I believe that's the default. And we won't select phase 2 parameters. So our local address is going to be 192.168.20 and the mask is going to be 24 and remote is going to be 192.168.10 and the mask is going to be slash 24 okay now let's look at phase 2 parameters there will be this and SHA-256 as well we're going to delete uh the remaining options i want to disable pfs and that should be enough okay so let me confirm we're using this and chat 256 okay so i'm going to press okay i'm going to disable these and some reason okay let me change this first save okay now let me edit uh so it's going to be phase one uh, it has to be 256 yeah okay so this is done and now I need a static route for these networks. So network static route. I'm going to add a new one. So that will be 192.168.10. And the mass is going to be 255.550. And this is going to be reachable via site to site uh via the vpn okay and we will need to add another network another object uh to create a black hole so this traffic for this network is always routed through uh the vpn so it's going to be 192.168.0 and it's going to be 255.550 and it's going to be 254 and i want to call this to be a black hole so that's going to be the last uh the least preferred option so we're going to enable this okay so now uh let's create the policy for this one and first we're going to create an inbound rule so let's call it inbound and that should come from vpn and going to port 2 so as this is inbound uh i need to create uh, the object for this one uh, it's going to be 192.168.1.0 24 
and the next dwarf 102 16810 okay and select this object destination is going to be uh, 20 service for all services we want to disable net on this rule let's confirm it's going to come from the vpn destined to port 2 sourcing from 192.168.1.0 destined to our local network it's always enabled for all services okay i believe everything is okay and now let's create the outbound policy so can we copy this on reverse okay let's see so let's call it outbound incoming port 2 destination vpn source our local network destination our remote network and that's what we want oh i have to enable this let me remove these comments and let me confirm that is disabled okay that's awesome and we can press ok and everything should be in place now all source interfaces are down okay not for too long okay now let's go on smart console and perform the changes to support this vpn okay so here on smart console the first thing to do is to add the gateway object so we're going to create a network object more interoperable device we're going to name it gateway b select another color it's going to be brown this time and its ip should be 12254 we're going to press ok and what we want so let's take a look at vpn community we're going to create a new one mesh community and we're going to name it site to site site a site b and let's change the color to brown and the gateways will be gateway a and gateway b uh encryption so we selected I believe aes 256 cha1 group 2 and the same for actually we selected this the encryption so forty gate only supports this and shall we use cha256 and same for phase two so encryption this and sha sha256 okay and we use uh diffie hellman group two for phase one okay so tunnel management shared secret uh let's type the secret it's going to be ccie six five seven four five okay advanced we want to disable that inside the vpn community so everything should be okay um yes it's insecure but that's what we have okay so let's create the policy and we're going to copy this one and paste below and change something here site b and the i address we have to create a new object okay and that should be uh 192 underscore 24 that should be brown now type the network 192 and that okay and we want to remove this and drag and drop the same object here and we want to change the vpn community to site a site b everything else looks okay uh, we have to add uh this network to uh no net uh, group objects so it's going to be 
and then 216820. And lastly, we have to add uh, 192.168.2 uh, as the VPN domain for this gateway. Okay, that should do it. So now let's press OK and install the policy. Okay. Now let's test this from site B and see if we can reach on the management server web page so we're back on linux so login and open uh as security management server ip address so that should be working and it is working we are logged on this Don't save Okay, and we're able to reach 192.168.1.2. As we know, that's the local network on site A. And if we look at logs and monitor, and let's refresh this to see the latest logs. And we can see traffic from 192.168.25 being decrypted uh, to reach the management server on port 443 and that's it guys uh we saw how to deploy a uh, site site vpn between checkpoint gateway and fortigate i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one